What's up guys, you know who it is, it's your boy Justin back again, and today I'm going to be doing something a little different, I decided to do a uh, Camry maintenance video, so recently my light went out behind this, um, the AC knobs, so half of this would be lit and the other side would be dark, so at night it would be hard to see whether it's on feet or head, and I was trying to find videos to figure out how to replace it, and I couldn't really find anything. And I finally, after digging for a couple minutes, found a video. So I decided to make a new video just to make it easy for you guys who want to do this. Now, this is a 1998 Toyota Camry. I believe this is the same on the 97 to 2001, I think. They basically say the same. So if your Camry is between that date, it's basically the same. So tools you're going to need for this are usually a flashlight, a big flathead screwdriver, and a drill with just a standard Phillips head on it. So first thing you want to do is, um, this, this isn't necessary, this just makes the job a lot easier. So this gear shift tends to get in the way when you're trying to pull off this uh, wood fake plastic thing. So you want to peel off this um, shift lock and um, you want to push in this and pull the gear shift back and it'll it should pull back there you go and always when you do this put on the emergency brake just in case and the second thing you want to do is peel off this uh, wood paneling now um, I have an aftermarket head unit so I have to take off my head unit so it's easier to take off and usually you can just pull right here Depending on how old your car is and how often this is taken off, it might be a little bit hard to get off. Um, now, usually the bottom is pretty hard to get off if you you just had kind of have to yank it uh, without breaking it. There we go, and that comes right out, and you just kind of lean it to the side like that, and um, and now you're gonna see four screws um, right there, right there. And right there and right there. Now you want to unscrew those um, with just your flathead, nope, Phillips screwdriver. Like this. Like that. Like that. Now, um, I'll show you in the video, it's those screws right there that just came out. Now, this is the part that most people forget to do. It's a very important part. Um, pull off these knobs. They just pull right out. They come right off. Put them aside, and as you can see, um, you also need to pull off this thing. Um, there's little screws right here, little those little Phillips heads right there and right there. The middle one, at least on mine, didn't have one, so I didn't have to take off that knob. Now I'm gonna put the camera back here so that I can drill these off because they're easy to strip. Shoot. I'll have to find that later. And this should pull right off. Um, now sometimes it's a little tricky to get off. Um, so let's see, there's these little tabs on the top that you have to lift up and pull off right there. Those little tabs you pull up on, that should just come right off. And, um, and as you can see, it's pulling off and then lift up on it. It's these lights right here turn on the headlight now normally one of if it was burnt out one of these lights wouldn't be working right here and um, these lights just pull right off you just pull them off and I'll even give you guys the type of light bulb I used on it it's a um, Slovenia um, long life number 2721 you can buy this just at AutoZone or O'Reilly's or any auto store that sells lights, they most likely have it, or Amazon. And um, 
and first of all, I find that screw I've lost. Um, but actually, a pretty the job itself isn't too hard. Um, I think I might have lost that screw. Um, and it's uh, relatively easy. Um, light bulb, light bulb itself was about five bucks. Um, let's see. Yes, yeah, so I guess you guys get the idea. While well, I'm looking for this um, piece, I'll uh, go ahead and screw it back together. Now, to put it back together, it's basically the same way, just um, everything's just in reverse. So this fits a little snugly, um, but it just snaps right on. and kind of have to finesse it, but it should just go right in. Go in there. Never gives me this much trouble actually. It usually goes right in. tell from that perspective uh, what's going on but this is kind of getting stuck um, well um, I guess you guys get the idea it's just everything in reverse when you get it taken apart it's pretty straightforward how to put it back together and that's the video guys if you liked it thumbs up if you want to comment comment below and subscribe to my channel if you like what you see and see you guys later